Hey guys, it's me, Pokemon Jaybear HD. And today we have week 9 of, of Major League Pokemon, and we are facing Card Captor and the Tom. I don't really know how to say it. Tom tomato, Tomato, uh, Cherims. And we have played in a. I believe it was last season in the playoffs. He did beat me by, I think it was punching down my Slowbro with, with, uh, um, Jirachi, so that was, definitely left a sour taste in my mouth, so I would like to definitely beat him this time, and, uh, his team this time around is the Megalopunny, Skarmory, Raikou, Mimikyu, Z, uh, Umbreon, Cryogonal, Seismitoad, Gorgeist, Delphox, Quillfish, and the Tyrantrum Z. And our team is still unchanged, being the Dankforce Landorus, Z Manaphy, Entei, Cobalion, Yuxi, Z Venomoth, Sharpedo, Stunfisk, Drampa, Meganancy, and Tangela. And when I see this matchup, obviously I see there's some. You know, Megalopony is obviously always a threat. You always gotta highlight that then. Um, I would say the Mimikyu can definitely be very threatening to my team just due to its uh, natural uh, dual stab just being solid against my team. And then uh, Tyrantrum definitely can head smash through my team if I allow it. And so, at least what I'm building, those are definitely the, the biggest threats I'm thinking about. However, um, since my team is more offensive, I have mostly offensive plans to check those things. And so, we will get right into the team, with the first member being my uh, Venomoth, which has the Bug Buzz, Hidden Power Electric, Quiver Dance, Sleep Powder with the Bugin MZ and Tinted Lens as usual. It is enough speed to outspeed, I want to say, <laughs> it's uh, Quillfish. <laughs> yeah, it should be Quillfish. And the Hidden Power Electric is literally only for Skarmory, just because it you know, quad resists the bug buzz, and uh, the only other thing that quad resists is Mimikyu, but it's not really that bulky, so I'm not as worried about that. And I didn't want a third coverage move because I think Sleep Powder could be useful. And then um, it's, you know, Venomoth with the ability to just bug buzz through the team, and Bug in EMZ gives the extra power. While Quiver dancing up, I can you know, definitely threaten the whole team. However, if the Skarmory comes, you know, I know it has sturdy and uh, it could either break or just roar me out. Otherwise, uh, a lot of its team actually struggles to deal with Venomoth. Like, he doesn't really have anything that uh, wants to comfortably switch in on it. So, I definitely want to take advantage of that. The next up we have. You can see here with the Cassive Berry, which is the ghost resisting berry, and the moveset is Psyshock, Dazzling Gleam, Foul Play, and U Turn. This is allowing me to take on the Mimikyu and Gorgeist a little bit better, because I can foul play both. And then, in addition, it's definitely you know, needs to help me with Megalopunny, as this is my only switch into it. And, uh, so, since it has quite the task, I didn't want to put rocks on it. Uh, Dazzling Gleam is for the Tyrantrum, which, you know, it it's gonna outspeed me, but I can take one hit from it, most likely, so, barring, like, Banded, but obviously if it's Banded, then the rest of my team, barring the uh, Stunfisk, I'll speed it, so not as threatening, so I definitely and just want to basically use this to chip down the physical threats as well as be able to take those hits. Then 
Next up we have Scarfed Manaphy, but this time instead of running U-Turn like I have in the past, it's uh, 4 attacks, being Scald, Ice Beam, Energy Ball, Dazzling Gleam, enough speed to outspeed Gorgeist, small at max speed, and uh, this I think has, just make sure I don't lose to say like a Dragon Dance Tyrantrum or uh, you know, most likely, you know, Mimikyu, because it has to, you know, really boost up to be able to do, you know, significant damage, being, like, Shadow Sneaking, and then, uh, also, it's a good way to help me revenge Lopunny, and, uh, Raikou as well, so, I definitely think that this is going to be vital to make sure that I don't just outright lose to the potential setup threats. Then next up we have Stunfisk here with the Discharge, Earth Power, Toxic, Stealth Rock. It's you know, especially defensive, it's literally there for pretty much Raikou, just to make sure I don't uh, get like bull switched all around, since I really don't like you know Landorus being four times weak to ice as my main way to stop electric types. So this you know stops Raikou, it can help with uh, Delphox as well, and uh, I mean those two are really the only ones that it's really there for, and then just setting up rocks. Like I think beyond that, it's like a, it's got a less specific role than most Mons because while it stops those, it, or not stops necessarily, but like really hampers those two, especially offensive threats. Otherwise, the team it can just annoy it being uh, discharge paras potentially, or toxic, or just in general, just getting damage off is is nice since there's the electric and ground coverage is pretty solid against most of the team, and then just coupling with toxic is nice. And next up we have Landorus, which I think has potential to sweep here. It's it's gonna be interesting because it's. You know, a dual dance of sorts. However, you know, I obviously I can risk it and just go for rock polish only, but I'm only running earth power and focus blast and only enough speed to outspeed uh, Mimikyu. And the reasoning, I well, I could have run maybe Psychic or uh, maybe Sludge Wave over Gravity. I felt that if, Sk if Skarmory comes, that's when I can Gravity, and once Gravity's up, Earth Power plus Focus Blast annihilates this team, because uh, Focus Blast will always hit under Gravity, and Earth Power obviously will hit the Levitating Mons, being Cryogonal and Skarmory. So the only thing I have to get rid of before I can use this is Gorgeist, otherwise, you know, just weaken things. So I think that this definitely, you know, if the right team is brought, it has a good chance as well as, uh, and just in general, if it, you know, if it's not going to sweep, it, it will do a ton of damage to everything because Earth Power plus Focus Blast can Oko or Tuit KO pretty much all the team barring Gorgeist, really. So that's definitely something that's a huge threat that I look forward to hopefully being able to set up the gravity. And then... Lastly, we have Mega DNC, the old reliable, running Moonblast, Time and Storm, Hidden Power, Electric, Calm Mind. I chose not to run Earth Power because the only thing it really hits that uh, wasn't already hit, like without the Hidden Power Electric, is uh, Quillfish, which I could hit Quillfish and the Skarmory with Hidden Power Electric, so I figured I could run a Calm Mind in the last slot instead of needing Earth Power and hidden power electric or fire so this I mean it just every time it comes in it's a huge threat and it's set to outspeed the cryogonal and diamond storm doesn't need a, any attack investment and it can be minus attack nature because cryogonal and delphox which it's there for both are physically frail enough to where this still okos them anyway so that's definitely something that he has a really hard time switching into so I think that uh, Landorus and and Mega DNC definitely will put on the most amount of pressure here. While Venomoth, can, I can help you know break open the game a little more 
and Manaphy is just the ultimate revenge killer for me. So hopefully we can come out with a win and I'll be back with Team Preview. And we are back with Team Preview as my opponent has decided to bring the Gorgeist, Megalopunny, Raikou, Cryogonal, uh, Mimikyu, and Tyrantrum, so he has opted to bring a very offensive build as, as have I. So definitely that opens up some possibilities, especially for my uh, Venomoth to break, not necessarily sweep, but I think that will be key to break and then uh, in addition, I think that makes mana a lot more valuable since it's scarfed and should be able to do a good amount of damage to most of the mons and definitely be an ultimate revenge killer. And uh, obviously the Landris and Mega Nancy are always big threats, but I'm going to lead with the Uxie as he leads off with the uh, Cryogonal and he goes for Toxic as I U-turn out because I don't want to deal with this, but I also didn't want Stunfisk to necessarily take, or anything else to take an Ice Beam or Freeze Dry or whatever. So I can just fire off a Diamond Storm as he goes into the Gorgeist and he reveals that he is Gorgeist Super. But from this damage, I can tell he's definitely not, you know, like a physically defensive that's normal on the ladder. And so I want to say he's around max HP, which a Moon Blast from here is actually a roll. so. I definitely don't want to stay in and risk that because this is just very valuable. So I just go into Venomoth as he actually reveals the Gyro Ball. And so he's brave, you know, min speed, max attack because that was like a high roll for max attack. So I just throw off the Z move because I don't know what he wants to do, but it's going to get a ton of damage off on something as he goes in the Raikou and that gives me Stunfisk, but he predicts this and goes into the Croagonal. So I'm going to go for just I just want to get my rocks up and he actually freezes me. <laughs> so I don't get my rocks up and that's really sucky. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to get this. Uh, I'm going to sack this, which that's you know kind of big in that I can KO things really easily with rocks are up. But now it's either rules or just I have to risk uh, focus blasts with uh, Landorus if it comes to that. So I'm going to go into the DNC and just Diamond Storm as I did last time. He sacks his Raikou as now uh, he goes into the Gorgeist and I go into my Uxie as he actually goes for Trick Room. And so I, I found that very interesting since his team seemed like a faster team and he uh, goes for Explosion and then he gets the crit and that, you know, that sucks obviously because that did a lot more damage than it would have and so now I'm at 16%. So he goes into his uh, Mimikyu and I'm actually, yeah, well you see there. I'm gonna stay in because with the with the berry, if he's adamant life orb, I actually do live a shadow sneak. <laughs> so you know, I'm hoping that he shadow sneaks as I can U-turn out, but he you know clearly does not. So I U-turn to break the disguise. So I'm just gonna sack my Venomoth as at this point I just need to get rid of the turns of Trick Room. So he does reveal to be life orb, and he goes to that shadow claw. So then I can go into my Uxi, waste another turn. I can foul play just to get damage off. So then it's in range of, you know, more things as he goes for the Shadow Claw. And so again, he didn't Shadow Sneak, so I'm starting to think that he doesn't have it. So I think this is actually my time to set up a Landorus as this is the last room, last uh, Trick Room turn. So he goes for the Play Rough, does a good amount of damage, but I go for the Rock Polish. And uh, yeah, so now I can just Earth Power, knock this out as he, you know, still didn't go for Shadow Sneak, so I'm assuming he didn't have it. And so now he goes into the, into the low punny. Yeah, well, okay, I'm so bad at pausing, but yeah, so it's a roll for Earth Power to kill if he's like no investment and with rocks, it's a roll that's actually more in my favor. However, since it's not, uh, since I think that it doesn't matter if I just get damage off at this point, I'm actually just, I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm a man. I have Focus Blast on here. I want to win just with this, so I go for Focus Blast as he actually doubles out and I connect and so knocks out the Croagonal. So thankfully I hit a Focus Blast. Now I have to hit another one to kill this. However, I'm actually just gonna go for Earth Power just for damage because now I'm becoming more of a pussy, but I actually crit him. So that helps with uh, in the fact that with the rocks, I actually had a better chance of killing him. And so since I didn't get rocks because I got frozen, I guess I got, you know, you could call it a justice crit. 
but regardless, I just win the game now because Earth Power does 10 million to this anyway, so definitely, you know, that last crit on the low punny matters because he's got to have some bulk, so rocks would help, but not necessarily guarantee a kill, but I, you know, at that point, I just wanted to put it in range of, uh, I wanted to, everything to be in range of Manaphy, which actually, with rocks on the, uh, rock sandwich on Tyrantrum, Manaphy just ice beams the Tyrantrum to death, so I think that, you know, obviously the crit got, made sure that Landris would win, where I didn't have to, where, you know, the crit made me not have to risk Focus Blast, however, if I wanted to truly sweep, I would have had to risk the Focus Blast. But yeah, so I, you know, end up winning. 3-0, so we are now 6-3, and three, and we are keeping ourselves in good position for uh, for playoffs, you know, it doesn't really matter that much to me about the differential. At this point, you know, if I'm winning games, I'm going to get into the playoffs, so that's really good, and uh, hopefully we do end up making the playoffs and hopefully making a splash. Thank you for watching. Bye!